Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame thing as a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis yesterday, so that's where the red and green line annotations up here are coming from. I'm gonna just get rid of that line there. Sure, it still pertains, it's not relevant, and I don't wanna have lines all over the place and risk causing clutter and confusion from a presentation standpoint. So we'll try to keep this as clean as possible. One of the first updates though that doesn't even made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they do tend to act as resistance. So, you know, if the, the sideways price action here does get any sort of, sort of jolt to the upside, you know, the first key battleground that is gonna need to be broken is up there at 0.015. Uh, more of a near term level of resistance though, before you, it really even makes sense to be talking about doing battle with 0.015 is right down here at 0.013. So 0.013, near term level of resistance after that up there at 0.015. As far as areas of support are concerned, Pretty straightforward right now, and it's just all based on you know the question, well, where did the bleeding finally stop today? And the bleeding stopped down there at 0.011. I thought this was actually gonna go sub-penny, it did not. So I, I guess we'll give some credit to the bulls there that didn't allow it to go sub-penny. But I mean, I think we can all agree that's kind of setting the bar somewhat low, but that's a whole nother discussion. But with that being said, uh, you know, in my opinion, if 0.011 is not gonna hold, then the next stop is definitely you know down below 0.01 in sub-penny land which would just be pretty crazy, but you know, it, it is what it is. And you know, this stock is definitely uh, probably one for the history books, but as it stands out, who knows, maybe this thing's leveling out and it's getting ready to go on one of its past, you know, really nice bounces. So that's always a possibility too. Uh, but like I said, if any sort of bounce is gonna occur, first hurdle that needs to be cleared 0.013 and then 0.015. So we'll see how tomorrow unfolds, but uh, right now, yeah, bears are definitely in full control. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.